Never have I ever had a one night stand. I'm not a call person. I'm not a text person. I'm a meet person. I know that. Farted in public and blamed someone else for. I did a lot of times. Ah. <laughs> no, I think I do it uh, unconsciously. Like I try to do it in a way that is not, you know, sort of like. Yeah, I do it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never have I ever left a date midway. I have. I love them. I mean, I adore Anjali, and you know it, Anjali, right? If you're uh, seeing this, she was narrating a beautiful poetry in an open mic, mm -hmm. and for some reason, okay, I went to her and said, "Okay, okay, you know, you are very attractive okay. because of these is these reasons," and then I said, "Bye." <laughs> okay, uh, she was asking, "Okay, which of the characters you auditioned for?" And I was like, "I auditioned also for Balli." And she was like, "Why?" <laughs> um, then I asked, oh, "Yeah, why? <laughs> you are the director. You tell me." And she was like, "Desperate times, desperate measures." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but have your parents finally seen the series? No. <laughs> yeah, but, so one thing I made sure that I told them you so, have to not watch it. So you know, out of nowhere, I'm like, oh shit! Now I'm having a bad. I'll just reply to this guy who's asking me for mal. <laughs> so uh, I'm obviously not a peddler, guys. I'm not. I used to tell Oshin that I'm really far from Farooq, and <laughs> that was the one line there, guys. I know he's my best friend, guys. Uh, <laughs> Chintan Raj, uh, people don't didn't know much about him before the show class came, and after the show streamed, uh, I think every. Everyone uh, out there knows the name, the person, and they are showering love on him like I think never seen before. Uh, I am also one of those people, and it's because of that love that I have made this interview possible today. And today I am very happy and excited that I am sitting in the company of the amazing, the adorable, uh, the cute and sweet, and uh, all the adjectives that go <laughs> with it. So, Chintan, welcome to Bollywood Bubble. Thank you so much for that introduction. I uh, feel. I'm always I'm confident now. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, firstly, huh. the love, the adulation that is coming with after class. How is it being getting all of that and kind of dealing with the mammoth of uh, appreciation that is coming from all of us? So I'll tell you uh, one random thing happened uh, yesterday itself. Mm -hmm. I was uh, at some place in Bandra near, uh, I think uh, near the linking road, and I was just mm -hmm. waiting for my cab. And out of nowhere, there's this. Car which stops and three people from the car they're like, Farooq, na? <laughs> and I was like, okay, now I think I made it. <laughs> Just because, uh, okay, if you are able to recognize me in like in the middle of the road, you are driving and you are seeing, oh, that might be Farooq. So hmm. I mean, pretty good win for me. So uh, how much of the character Haji. of Farooq has kind of seeped into Chintan's life now? Because I heard that uh, people are now calling you to get some. Illegal things. <laughs> Out Illegal there. things. No, nobody's calling me. They are just messaging me. I know. I think in a funny way. And that also happened. I think I did some podcast, and that video went outside, and people are like, like <laughs> laughing about that fact. Okay, oh, now he made a joke out of it. So people are sending me more hmm. this of these messages, thinking that I'd reply to that. And I do sometimes in a funny way. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like I, I won't say those replies, but yeah, I do that <laughs> just to you know out of nowhere. I'm like, oh shit! Now I'm having a bad. I'll just reply to this guy who's asking me for mal. <laughs> so uh, I'm obviously not a peddler, guys. I'm not. Yeah. And uh, um, the uh, the the main part about this is that uh, before two years, I was nowhere near Farooq. Like when we started shooting, uh, I used to tell Oshim that I'm really far from mm. Farooq, and <laughs> that was the one-liner there, guys. <laughs> so yeah, and he uh, used to be like, I know, <laughs> I know you are very far, but you are very near, and this is a very uh, like uh, obscure place that you are in. It's a very different place you are in, and I'm like, I I don't get it. I I don't get this word play. I don't know what it means, but okay, I'll just say yes because you know it better than me. Uh, but now I realize, okay, okay, like with time, I'm being more Farooq and less Chintan, and I don't think that's a good, like uh, obviously attribute-wise, the way he talks and walks, and I don't think that's a great sign because he used to suppress his feelings and mm. not communicate, and that's not a great sign. Yeah. yeah. No, but we'll we'll make you communicate your feelings. Yeah, that's. We will your... help you through that. Ha, Akash, uh, meri zameen hilayega. And I have been doing that for a while now. Uh, I've been trying to. I think that should be your bio you. now. I am zameen hilata. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Chintan, like. Uh, how did your fascination with showbiz start and uh, how did you kind of decided that uh, acting is something you wanted to do so showbiz to i was not really uh, like I, i i don't know okay if i was going to make it like this yeah. i knew for a fact that as an actor i might do something in life like at least i'll do something that's uh, very artsy i would 
if i if i don't get through i just direct something i'll write something and then direct it some something i was going to do but now like with the debut only i'm getting this sort of response so i'm really happy that okay now i don't i don't have to work that hard also <laughs> but no no so i'm not taking this for granted of course mm-hmm. and uh, um i think uh, it started uh, way back around 2006 or 5 only and obviously i think everybody in this country uh, they have a fascination of this guy and tell me who this guy is you have to tell me uh okay delhi i am a delhi person so i know the person who made from delhi to mumbai yeah, yeah. and has given the yeah. uh, so, uh, the guy who, many the, the guy who lives in mannat yeah yeah, yeah the guy who lives in mannat <laughs> <laughs> yeah so okay so uh, i think it was um, कल हो ना हो एंड आई यूज टू सिंग दिस सॉन्ग हर घड़ी बदल रही आई एम अ टेरेबल सिंगर बट स्टिल आई यूज टू डू दैट एंड दैट इज वन थिंग आई रिमेंबर फ्रॉम माई चाइल्ड हुड आई डोंट रिमेंबर एनी थिंग एल्स लाइक आई डोंट रिमेंबर स्पेसिफिक इंसिडेंट्स बट आई रिमेंबर दिस थिंग आई यूज टू डू एंड फ्रॉम देन ओनली आई वॉज लाइक ओके एटलीस्ट इफ नॉट लेट से कन्वेंशनल सेलिब्रिटी एटलीस्ट लाइक एन एक्टर आई वॉन्ट टू डू इट सो आई स्टार्टेड इन क्लास सेवेंथ ओनली टू यू नो बी आई वॉज इन्वॉल्व इन uh dramatics and all of that but then i started doing uh, drama professionally from class 9 mm-hmm. like i used to be in theater and all of that i did gujarati theater for i don't know how many years and uh, one thing that oshim uh, told me when i was dubbing for uh, uh, this show mm-hmm. uh, he said ke you know what are you seeing the show you're such a cool guy from some uh, khakhra eating gujarati <laughs> theater boy i made you this cool guy and i was like i know ashim thank you so much because i'm not that cool if you see whatever mm-hmm. farooq does is extremely cool that's the baseline of it yeah. the way he talks the way he walks even the way he behaves since the time you kind of started auditioning or maybe started thinking of pursuing acting professionally and uh, the time you got class hmm between that how long was that uh, phase for you and uh, what were the biggest challenges that you faced during that time I started auditioning I think around uh, 20 20 uh, February yeah okay and uh, then I had to wait for several months even pandemic happened mm-hmm. so in between you know several things happened I was doing my engineering also back then mm-hmm. so I used to complete my assignments I used to do several other things uh, and uh, I it was just like a long waiting time in fact I gave the auditions for several characters mm-hmm. I gave the audition for Neeru I gave the audition for uh, uh, um Dhruv then uh, balli i gave the audition for <laughs> and so we were having this chat me and punch me was the casting director ke uh, she was asking ke which are the characters you audition for and i was like i auditioned also for balli and she was like why <laughs> then i asked yeah why you are the director you tell me and she was like desperate times desperate measures because o- oshim was i think testing every guy on this country for this show Mm-hmm. He really, he really was keen on making something that's like out of this world. Yeah. And uh, I don't know how near we are right now, but I think he did a pretty well job with whatever he has done. Like I I have never seen something like this in India at least. I don't know for what reason I was never tested for like okay series. Like you know series mm-hmm. that were made on a smaller scale. I was mm-hmm. always tested for series that were made on a high like bigger scale. Mm-hmm. And some re- and people who got selected for the auditions were semi known faces. Mm-hmm. So I was in that. Uh, mind space that okay they might be mm. going for somebody who's already done, done a project or so so i already got my answer in my head but i never asked for the feedback because somewhere i know ke okay like i didn't do a bad job in the audition i know for a fact that i did a good job i didn't really like uh, there was no reason in the performance bit that they would like reject okay, you know mm. it's it's really bad let's reject them it was just either you know the face or the vibe of the guy is not going mm. with the character either or they want some other like reasons like you know we need a semi known face to start with a queer character is yeah. not a choice that many people would make especially like you see yourself as a romantic hero when you kind of uh, enter into this industry as yeah. especially the inspiration <laughs> uh, that is behind yeah. so uh, was there any apprehension about that fact ever for you so see day? i'll be uh, very candid here now uh, sharukh also he started with a character and he was praised for a character that was a very yeah. unconventional decision mm-hmm. like you know dar bazig or something like this and now i felt ke uh, one reason i would do it just because of the art sake okay nobody is doing like this nobody is taking a character like this that's why i should take it yeah. a because i don't know for what reason you are not taking it just because it's a great opportunity to first a test your craft b mm-hmm. uh be bold as an actor people should know uh, like people would get it ke you know you are not here for just showbiz you are here mm-hmm. also to do work and mm-hmm. i i'm not saying ke showbiz is bad 
uh, I love people. I love people seeing me uh, on like you know appreciating me. I love yeah. the validation. But I also want to make sure that I am sticking to my art. Like I I don't want to mess it up. Like I want to be both like at the both ends. I want to be an artist also. I want to be a people person also. Yeah. It's very hard to like you know juggle between these two. Yeah. But I think like with time I'll find a sweet spot to just turn on this yeah. button, turn on this button. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but uh, how was it developing that chemistry with Chayan? Because for you, me, that uh, was the highlight of the show. <laughs> oh yes, uh, say that again, please. Uh, uh, for me, the Chayan and Chintan, CC, uh, Dhruv and Farooq, AK, uh, yeah. were the highlight of the show, and I'll stand by it till the last breath. Wow, wow. Uh, so <laughs> people are calling it Chinchai. <laughs> Chinchai. Yeah. Oh, the, that's yeah. nice. That's this can be a game. restaurant name. It feels Chinchai. Like. Yeah. Chinchai. <laughs> I'll be honest. It was very effortless. We never thought, okay, okay, we have to make this chemistry and all. We yeah. already had that uh, bond from the day one. Uh, so I remember. So I had this workshop, a solo workshop with uh, our acting coach, and then the next workshop was with Chayan. Uh, and I had to wait for 15 days just because okay, that guy uh, got COVID, and I so I just saw his picture and I was like, okay, I'm doing my role. Like I'm. This is Dhruv and I'm Farooq. Yeah. So now this guy is casted as Dhruv. And I saw his work in Guilty back then, uh, and I was like, okay, fair. Uh, let's meet him. But uh, for 15 days he was not there, and I was just waiting in Bombay, doing nothing for 15 days because I thought, okay, okay I'll just go back to Rajkot uh, and just chill there because at that point of time also just pandemic, uh, the the lockdown was just lifted, hmm. and uh, I was like, okay, I'll wait for 15 days, and then when I met him. Uh, the first thing we were like, you know, th that was just a eye contact we had. Okay, okay, hi, <laughs> hi. It was it was not awkward, you know. Okay, we are doing uh, the scenes together. It was just like you know, very friendly, mm -hmm. hi. Which was like, hey, it was. It, uh, for a minute, I imagined that it would be awkward just for mm -hmm. like I don't know what reason. Okay, you know, like now we are ha we have to shoot and now we are directly starting with the workshops we haven't mm -hmm. met before and all of that and we have a romantic arc actually. Mm -hmm. um, so we uh, we had this workshop mm. also in that uh, so I was playing his big brother in that scene specifically okay. and I'm uh, and he wanted to go to some concert and I was saying no no you don't have to go to this concert <laughs> because you know we're wasting money and all mm. so I, I'm like you know instead of that you go to some mm. uh, Sadhguru's inner engineering why don't you do that <laughs> and uh, and then he's like uh, after the scene. You know Sadhguru and you know inner engineering. That's so cool because he's really into all of that, and that's how we started talking, and that's how the ice actually you know broke. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but like back in Rajkot, what was the people's reaction to your character to the series? Because uh, considerably Rajkot is a smaller town, yeah, yeah, yeah. and to see a people a person you know play a a queer character in such a big show and then yeah. get so much love. Yeah. Otherwise, how was their uh, reaction? To yeah, uh, I don't know honestly. Just because also the show has come out uh, on third Feb, and mm. uh, since that I haven't really got time to actually check what my uh, uh, peers back mm. in Rajkot think about it. I know my friends love it because they love cinema and they are mm. like, you know, okay, wow, this is so cool, etc., etc. Uh, I don't know my uh, relatives' reaction, but uh, I uh, there was there's this cousin brother I have. He made mm. a. Very lovely WhatsApp message and sent it to me saying, ke, "Hey, my brother is doing this show." And then mm. he attached a link, and then he attached a Netflix ka mm. link, and all of that. And then he sent it to, I think, the entire contact list. Uh. He made a broadcast and he sent it to me also. And I was like, "Wow, mm. such a sweet message." Yeah. So I don't know what their reaction mm. is, but they are really supporting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but have your parents finally seen the series? No. <laughs> yeah, but, so one thing I made sure that I told them you uh. have to not watch it. I'll watch it with you. I want to see oh. your reactions. Yeah. So waiting yeah. for that. Yeah. Uh. So, so yeah. Rajkot ka safar lagega jaldi. I think main unko Bombay bula raha hu ab to. That's hmm. yeah, high time I call them now. And now we are gonna play a game of because uh, you are a young person and I am uh, very uh, sure that you will have a very. You are not a young person. Arre, I am <laughs> a very. I have a very boring life. Arre, <laughs> but uh, but I am sure. I am extremely boring. I am sure yeah. you will have some yeah. uh, very fishy details as well. Oh, so we will we'll find that out yeah. in a game of Never Have I Ever. Okay. Great. Juice so, and me go together, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Roots and me, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, firstly, never have I ever been catfished. I don't think so. Yeah, I've never been. Oh, so yeah. genuine people are contacting. Yeah. Uh, lucky I, you. I think I think I'm I'm not even like replying to not so genuine people. <laughs> yeah, you should be happy. <laughs> uh, never have I ever complimented someone sarcastically, which they took to be true. Yeah, I have always. Uh, do you have a sarcastic sense of humor? I feel it. 
I think not sarcastic. I think I have a dark sense of humor sometimes. Okay. Like, yeah, I, I shouldn't speak it out loud sometimes because I think people would get offended. So I, hmm. I save it for people who I know. Okay. Yeah. And Nev- who won't be offended, of course. Okay. <laughs> Never have I ever left a date midway. Not really. No. I, I'm very respectful that way. I can't do that. Like uh, even if I feel the person is really boring, I try to be interesting. You know. Okay. Uh, if you are not speaking anything, I would. So yeah. What was the worst date you have ever been on? There's not a single worst date I've ever been just because uh, I was included in the date. So it can't be worst. You know. The <laughs> the, the the love <laughs> in that. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever promised to call a date back but didn't. I think I might have done that. See. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, uh, that I can do. Ah. So, firstly, okay, I'm not a call person. I'm not a text person. I'm a meet person. I know that because I think I'm a very like you know jolly holly person when I meet. But mm-hmm. in text, I'm like yeah, ha ha ha, great, ah. with a lot of emojis. Never have I ever farted in public and blamed someone else for. It. I don't fart. <laughs> ah. I'm that guy who lies about it. <laughs> ah, see, he has lied about it right now. Okay, never have I ever been in a relationship longer than I should have. I have. I give I give it a lot of chance. Now I am uh, always I I think I give like more than uh, required. I give hmm. it like a lot of time yeah. in case if it mends uh, or bends. Okay. <laughs> Without taking names, how long was this relationship for, and how long it should have been? Wow, we're going into the details, huh? Uh, uh, I think it should have been for like a year, but I took it like one point five years. Never have I ever crushed on my co-star. I have. Who? So I mean I adore Anjali and you know it Anjali right if uh, you're saying this uh, and because okay whatever she uh, she says it's I don't know like for some reason you want to listen ke ha oh, aur bolo aur bolo okay even if, if uh, so this is one thing I did with her ke you know what ke if you want to learn hindi also mm. just let me know I'll teach you <laughs> hindi yeah so <laughs> offering Anjali, hindi lessons yeah. okay yeah. I think uh, for anyone out there if uh, Chintan is hitting on you you'll get to know when she says when he says ki I can give you uh, I can lessons. give you hindi lessons yeah Okay that's the epic thing I'll do you know that that's when you should realize ke okay, I'm really into you okay. <laughs> never ever ever hooked up on set no i haven't like people uh, think i i do fun all the time but i'm very serious on set for no reason like i feel like okay i have this pressure i have to perform i take my diary in fact i have my diary right now so i take my diary i write this things down okay i'll do this i'll do this mm. i'll do this i'll plan my scene like this i'll do this yeah. also i have to include this angle i have to think this etc mm. etc et so i make it very mechanical okay yeah never have i ever had a one night stand no i didn't i i can't do it shiddat wala हाँ आई थिंक सो यार आई मुझे चेंज करना चाहिए ना मुझे लग रहा है इसीलिए लाइफ में थोड़ा उथल पाथल हो गया कि मैं लोगों के साथ एडवेंचर लाने के लिए घुल मिल नहीं पा रहा हूँ स्ट्रेंजर इन अ पब्लिक प्लेस वो क्या होता है किडना नो नो नॉट लिटरल पिकडअप आई कुड है ओमनी प्रेजेंट वर्ड प्ले वेरी मच uh nahi nahi actually pata hai uh, if this is picking up i've done this thing somebody who uh, who i uh, thought was very beautiful and for me it's not just uh, like how a person is looking it's more of the thing ke, uh, whatever oh, the she deal. or he is conveying uh, that makes it uh, beautiful so uh, uh, this girl she was narrating a beautiful poetry in an open mic mm. and for some reason okay people who speak in a manner like in a specific manner that that really attracts me So I went to her and said, "Okay, okay, you know you are very attractive uh, because of these is these reasons." And then I said, "Bye." <laughs> uh, never have I ever said a premature "I love you." I did a lot of times. Oh. I do that, yeah. Uh, so for me, I I don't know. I I just feel uh. like saying "I love you" and say "I love you," uh-huh. even if it's like you know impulsive. I don't uh. think about it. Yeah. Never have I ever been caught by the cops. I have. For a uh, seat belt. Not just show. <laughs> because he has seen her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too on, uh, uh, in the show. But no, I, in Delhi only when I was shooting uh, the show, so I was not wearing my seat belt. So they were like, "Hey, look, seat belt, kidder, ruido." I'm like, "Oh shit!" How do you know I'm a hero? I'm not even made. Correct. Yeah. Never have I ever been caught cheating. I have. Yeah. 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 Ah. No, I think I do it uh, unconsciously. Like I try to do it in a way that is not, you know, sort of like, yeah, I do it. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Never have I ever turned down an advance and regretted it later. 
turned down in advance and then someone hit on you yeah you said no and then regret yeah I, i did yeah a lot of times actually yeah. i'm a very noob guy i think so like i i love my character farooq but mm. i think i'm very near to dheeraj uh, he is that guy you know who, who doesn't get all the hints and all mm. and somebody takes uh, mm. his girl and all of that so i'm i think i'm that guy uh, never have i ever used filmy dialogues or songs as pick up lines kitni baar bola idhar hi bahut ye ye mera ammo hai mujhe lagta hai ki achanak se man se nikalta hai Oh, huh. and also originality way because you write poetry. So huh. uh, you must have used your poetry also. I am sure. Yeah, huh, बहुत बार. Uh. But uh, कभी फायदा नहीं हुआ उससे. <laughs> चिंतन <laughs> and we have many more plans to make apart from the camera as well that is uh, because we uh, i have already told him that we are going to be friends i have declared yeah, yeah. it yeah yeah he's my best friend actually uh, oh, yeah. yeah he's my best friend guys uh, <laughs> you are doing wonders on screen and i'm sure there are much bigger things written for you in future you are meant for that and you deserve all of that you deserve all the love and adulation that you are receiving and i'm sure it's going to increase day by day because that is what you deserve Thank you so much thank for giving so me this much. opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really. And thank Me you so much for being the person you are. Don't ever change. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. I'll change, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Hi, this is Shandan Raj. You are watching me on Bollywood Bubble. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell icon too.